This is the weather forecast video for Monday, February 20th, 2012. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a storm system leaving the east coast that brought snow to the mid-Atlantic and southern New England. Another storm just to our west coming through later today and one over the west coast coming at midweek. Watch your warning map from before midnight. Winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings over the mid-Atlantic. Winter weather advisories from the northern plains in Minnesota into the Rockies. Wind advisories over the center, central and southern plains. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Friday evening at 6 o'clock. Shows some decent amounts of precip around here with the system today and a system Wednesday into Thursday with the heaviest over the northwest and this is the 0z GFS model run at 6 p.m. this evening see the first storm going through the central and southern plains with the peace energy there and we'll see some rain mainly with temperatures in the 40s bit of a wintry mix over the northwestern counties where our winter weather advisory is in effect and some switch over to a little bit of light snow then by Tuesday that'll be lifting out there could still be a few rain showers or a few wintry mix of flurries and sleet in the morning, but by evening it'll be gone. Wednesday's just going to be a miserable day, mostly cloudy, some drizzle, maybe a few flurries, and in the upper 30s to mid 40s. Thursday looks to be about the same. Some rain maybe a bit of wintry mix and temperatures will begin to cool off as the storm system begins to push off friday could still see even some lingering flurries or maybe a bit of drizzle across the eastern counties but most of the precipitation will be well off to our east over the great lakes and the east coast as our attention on saturday moves to our infamous storm with the low developing over eastern colorado and some snow breaking out over the plains and into the Rockies. Now we move ahead to Sunday. This is Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. You can see a peace energy coming into the northern parts of Nebraska and South Dakota, and another piece hanging back over the Intermountain West. And we have a low near Kansas City, but as you see, the Gulf is not open. So there's a lot less moisture to work with so a lot of the snow may end up missing quite a bit of the state on Sunday as we head to Sunday evening now the Gulf opens up but the storm is mainly to the east and that infamous ugly high pressure is taking the moisture away as the low has now moved into Michigan with another piece over Colorado we head to Monday next week Monday morning and lots of moisture over the southeast the Ohio and the lower Mississippi Valley but almost nothing here except cold dry air and by Monday evening some showers and thunderstorms over the Ohio Valley and Tennessee Valley so the model is still a little bit wild on its where this system is gonna go so let's take a look at this this is Canadian gem model this is a 6 a.m. Sunday morning. You can see we have a low pressure over Colorado and we have a band of moisture coming into the western counties. And by Sunday evening, it's blossomed into quite a bit of precipitation, mainly over the southern, about third of Iowa into Missouri and Illinois. Whether it's rain or snow, not sure. But by Monday morning, it's gone off to the east, quickly moving. But there's another little piece over to our west as that infamous high pressure tries to nose in but looks like there could be a little bit of more precip and this possibly could be in the form of snow so the models are a little hesitant on this storm system we move back to the GFS and we move ahead to March 1st of course this is in voodoo and some energy moving through the middle part of the country with a trough surface a low pressure over Wisconsin and yet again Gulf is not opened up and all the moisture is to our north so we might end up dry from that system if that's right the end of the forecast oh not at the end of the forecast we're over to March 4th so excited about the end of the forecast upper level feature over the west coast and this is very exciting but 
this storm on the 26th looked just like this and we'll see how this looks in future runs this could be quite rainy and now at the end of the forecast on the 6th that upper level feature moves on shore now over Utah we still have a ridge over the southeast and the Gulf Coast so no intrusions of pretty of really cold air most of that will be in eastern Canada as another storm begins to develop again but we've seen this before we'll see how this is in future runs thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video we'll have another one tomorrow